Hello, Lion citizens. Welcome to today's lecture on um, Jacob, where we dive into a fascinating concept that bridge the gap between economics and private equity. This intriguing phenomena serve as a lens through which we can better understand the dynamics of um, investment, particularly in the realm of private equity. In this lecture, we will unravel the definition significance and the uses of Jacob, providing you with a comprehensive grasp of its implication. At its core, the Jacob is a graphical representation that vividly illustrates the initial decline in the value of an investment, followed by a subsequent upward trajectory, forming a shape that reminisces the letter J. This curve is often used to depict the performance of a fund or an investment portfolio over time. While the initial dip might appear counterintuitive, it's all the key to comprehending the underlying mechanism at play. Let's dig deeper into the details of the initial dip. Why does an investment decline right after its inception? The answer lies in the timing of the cash flow. When funds are injected into a project or an investment vehicle, there are often substantial upfront costs such as research, expenditure, and operational setup expenses. This initial outflow creates a temporary dip in the investment value. However, this phase sets the groundwork for the future growth and success of the organization. As time progresses, the resources poured into the investment begin to yield results. This is where the J call takes its upward turn. The value of the investment starts to appreciate, often exponentially, due to factors such as increased customer adoption, improved of operational efficiency, and optimized resources allocation. This sudden burst in value showcases the essence of J call. Phenomenon. So, I want to also uh, like this is an economic theme, and it is it will be uh, counterproductive if I don't uh, explain the explanation of Jacob as it relates to economics. The Jacob isn't confined to a private equity alone; its impact extends to economics as well. Consider a scenario where a country experiences a currency depreciation like we have in Nigeria at the moment. In short term, the cost of import may rise, leading to trade imbalance and initial economic downturn. However, over time, the more competitive exchange rate can lead to increased export, ultimately correcting the trade, ba uh, the trade balance. Government often implement policies that incur short-term costs but promise long-term benefits. This aligns with the j curve concepts. By investing in education, infrastructure, and research and development, a nation might face initial financial strain. However, this investment saw the seed for enhanced economic productivity and prosperity down the line. So let's look at the implication of uh, for private equity. When we look at the implication of Jacob as it relates to private equity, patience as a virtue. Private equity investors understand the Jacob significance all too well. Funds injected into a portfolio company operation might not yield immediate returns. However, over time, as operational efficiency and market penetration and profitability improve, the value of the investment climbs significantly. How do they manage investors' expectations? The core also have a role in managing investor expectations. Investors should be aware of the initial dip and the subsequent growth phase this knowledge helps prevent panic and withdrawal during the early stage of the organization or the investment, allowing it to follow natural 
trajectory. The J curve is a powerful visual representation of the ebb and flow that characterize investment. Whether in economics or private equity, it underscores the importance of patience, long-term vision, and understanding the underlying process that drive value creation. As you continue your journey in the world of finance and economics, remember the lesson embedded in the J-Corp as they provide valuable insight into the intricate dance between the initial sacrifice and eventual reward.